Hello, and welcome to my channel where I taste and rank different types of alcoholic beverage. Today, I'll be tasting different types of wheat beer, which includes Hefenweizen, White Ales, and Fruited Wheat Beers. This is strictly my opinion, so there is no right or wrong answer. All of this is me tasting these items and ranking them. With that said, let's get started. All right, let me grab the first beer. So the first beer is going to be the Sam Adams Cherry Wheat. Shit, guys. This is, uh, you know, tons of cherry in it, honestly. Very fruit forward. Very nice drinking. Not bad at all. I mean, alcohol-wise, could barely even taste it. It's very, very delicious, honestly. If I had to rank this, I'd probably give this one, honestly, an A. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, next one's going to be Hangar 24 Orange Wheat. Is this this one's also uh you know very nice as well we don't get a lot of orange but it's very very citrusy not bad i mean for people who like citrus items it'd be good not my favorite but you know what i would probably rank this one b moving on I have Bootlegger's Old World Hef. This guy's a California beer, local in uh, Fullerton in Southern California, if you guys know where that's at. Oh, man. When well, this is Old World Hef, it definitely is Old World Hef. This tastes like a German beer. Get a ton of like banana and cloves taste to it. Not bad. I mean, it's much easier drinking this than regular German beer. Not th my biggest fan. This one, I'd give a C. Alright, moving on. We're going to do another half. This one's going to be from uh, Two Roads out of Connecticut. Called the No Limit Half. This guy. Hmm. Very similar to the bootlegger ones, but it's actually much lighter. There's not a lot of flavor to this. Got more oranges than anything, but it still has that banana taste style to it. And the cloves. Mm, again, not a lot of flavor going on with this one. This one I'm probably going to have to rank. Hmm. Probably going to have to rank this one D. Again, again, not a lot of flavor to it. I mean, it did taste like a half like the old world did, but I would expect it to be a little more more of that banana clovey style for what a half is. Next one's gonna be Maui Brewing out of Hawaii. This is gonna be their mana wheat. Be a pineapple wheat ale. All right. Ooh, very, very fruity. Uh, it has a little bit of sourness to it, honestly. Mm. It's not bad, but again, I'm not a big pineapple flavor person. Uh, people who like pineapple will probably like this a lot more. I'm going to probably rank this one C. Again, it has a sour taste to it, which just 
can't get out of my mouth, honestly, right now. Again, it's not bad, though, but people who like pineapple, I think, will definitely like this one. All right, moving on. Our next one's going to be Sea Dog Burring. This is out of, um, I believe, Maine. This is a blueberry wheat ale. Ooh, this is actually a pretty, very, very fruity. Uh, if anyone's a blueberry fan, this is definitely up the alley. Uh, you get tons and tons of blueberry flavors. Mmm. It's actually really, really good for anyone who does not like any beer uh, that wants blueberry flavors. This is pretty good. I'd probably put this one with Sam Adams, Cherry Wheat. All right, moving on. Have a shipyard a melon wheat. This is also out of Maine. Right here. This one about not bad. I'm not getting a lot of watermelon though. Uh, it's more refreshing than anything. Again, it's really not that bad. Again, I'm not getting too much flavor out of this. Basically, it's very, very plain. Um, if I have to give this one anything, I'll probably give this one a C as well. Again, just because if you're going to call it a watermelon, I want to taste some watermelons. I'm not going to give that, but again, it's not bad. I mean, if it's just a regular beer, I wouldn't probably know the difference. All right, moving on. This is another watermelon beer. This is a 21st Amendment High in Hell Water watermelon out of uh, San Francisco, California. Now this tastes like watermelons. Very, very refreshing. The watermelon is very prominent. This tastes like I'm eating a watermelon right now. So far, I would say this is probably my, my, my most favorite one. Being well balanced, not overly fruited. Uh, this one I'm gonna probably give an S. Next, we have the classic Blue Moon, Belgian White. Here's this. Ooh, this is very similar to the orange wheat from Hangar 24. Has that uh, orange flavor taste to it? Um, probably a little more than anything, 24, honestly. But even then, I don't know. I would rank it almost exactly like the Hangar 24 as as a B. Um, you know, at least for this one, you can actually taste the oranges. You know, it's not bad. It's very drinkable. It's very crushable as well. So I'd probably have to go with B for this one as well. All right, next we have Bell's Oberon. All right, here's this. Out of all the wheat beers, this one uh, probably tastes more like a half than anything. Uh, I have a, you get a lot of bananas, that clove. Hmm. 
Hmm. I get a little bit more hops to this as well, honestly. Um, if I didn't know any better, I thought this was almost a pale ale. Um, I'll probably have to drink this one as um, probably C again. It wasn't bad. It definitely was enjoyable. Um, but yeah, I, I, I would never have guessed this was a, a wheat beer if I didn't, if I didn't try it. All right, moving on. Next, we have Avery White Rascal out of Colorado. Is that right there? Mmm. This one's very uh, delicious as well. Um, this one almost tastes like a, a Hefeweizen. I get a ton of that, that banana cloves, but also it's very, very smooth. Wow, this is actually really good. This one I'll probably rank, I'll probably rank A. Out of all the, the Hef styles and the, the Belgian whites, again, now, I'm not getting a lot of fruit, but then it's very, very smooth. I, I definitely do like this one. All right, next we have Algash White. Another Belgian style white. It's actually really good as well. For being a Belgian style, again, it doesn't have, have a lot of the uh, the citrus I was looking for, but definitely has more of that, again, the banana, the cloves, um, you know. It's it's uh, very herbally as well. Well, that being said, it's like, it's very well balanced to where I wouldn't even guess that this was a Belgian wheat. I would definitely think that it was a, more of a Hef style, but you know what? This is a uh, very, very nice. Probably give this one rank A as well. All right. Next, we have Lost Coast Brewing from Northern California. This is their Great White. Cool little shark. Ooh. This one's very interesting. Almost has no flavor at all. It's um it's not bad. It's a uh, I can't describe it. It's almost like I'm just tasting like a regular beer. Uh something very light, um not heavy at all. Um, honestly, this was uh, a little confusing. Uh, I don't know where to put this. I almost want to put this in B just because, uh, it's not bad. I mean, it's something that I could just drink every single day. Uh, it's almost like drinking like a, a lager, like a Bud Light. It's just so light, so easy to drink. Uh, I could drink like a ton of this. All right, next, I have a uh, Angry Horse Wit Wit Tier Boulevard. Ooh, excuse me. Again, Angry Horse Wit Tier Boulevard. So this is a uh, California brewery located somewhere in LA. Mm, interesting. This almost tastes uh, <laughs> not my favorite. It almost tastes like a uh, cilantro. It's like almost like soapy. <laughs> not my favorite. This is uh, my least favorite of the bunch. 
Um, again, it's not undrinkable, but definitely not my favorite. I'm probably going to have to list them as uh, E tier. Alright, last one is Sam Adams Summer Ale Citrus Sweet. This guy right here. This is a, their summer seasonal that just got released. Hmm. Compared to their cherry wheat that we tried earlier, uh, this one's very drinkable. Uh, it says citrus wheat. I don't get a lot of citrus, honestly. But this honestly reminds me like of like the Great White, where very crushable, very drinkable. I feel like this is like something where if it's a very nice hot day, this is a something I would want to drink on a very hot day. Uh, ranking wise, I probably give this one as B as well. All right, well, this is my tier list. Where do you think you guys would have put these beers at if you guys were to rank them? Um, if you guys have any suggestions or recommendation, please leave a comment and let me know. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and see you next time. Cheers.